All right, so I just got uh, another Commodore 1541-2 hard drive in the mail here. Box is, of course, it's like 30 years old, so I got water damage and stuff. It's all right. Here's the um, uh, floppy drive. I'll probably say hard drive, but I mean floppy drive. Just let me uh, get rid of this box. I like these over the regular 1541s because the external power supplies it doesn't heat up like the 1541s. So we got to remove four screws, one in each corner here. And then the top will lift off. Alright, so let's go outside and blow the dust out. Now you have the lid off. Let's go outside here. And we're gonna we're gonna blow some 30-year-old dust out of this. Next thing you want to do is uh, clean the right head in here, the read right head. So we're going to use some alcohol and a Q-tip. I have other videos on YouTube actually how to do this, but since this is a new drive, we'll just go ahead and show you again. So here you can turn this up a little bit. This little white patch is what we want to clean here. So get in here with your Q-tip, clean that off. Of course, I'm doing this one-handed. Let me see the rails. Oh, this is moving pretty tight. So we want to uh, clean these rails off too here. So I'm going to go ahead and do that, and then we're going to lubricate those rails. All right, so I just greased these rails with some liquid. Uh, grease. Now we're going to plug in the power. And back here is the the power supply here. So you can see it's an external power supply is why I really like these. You know the uh, 1541 underneath here really heats up after a short period of time. Alright, let's turn things on and test things out. All right, so we have our test cartridge in here. Um, you can download it from this site here. Uh, it's a CRT file, and then just put it on your Easy Flash 3 cartridge, and it's free. So what should we do? We could do alignment check. We could show the show the BAM uh, performance test. Let's check alignment. Alright, alignment's fine. I never worry about the half tracks here. Um, so this is actually really good. Now let's load up our next test. I'm gonna I use the alignment. I actually use the um the kit from Free Spirit. So let me boot that up. Okay, here's uh my tip that uh you might not know, if you don't have the, the free experiment alignment disc, which is on the back side, use the, just use this disc, the, uh, the, one, they, uh, the one made by Commodore. This works just as good. So let me put it back in, and you can see the alignment. Let's uh, run through, let's run down. Don't worry about the half tracks. I don't even know if the half track things works in this program. So our alignment is good. Uh, let's check the the speed. 
The speed in this program always says 110. Or th the speed always says 310. But it's actually, I don't know. Uh, everything, all my other programs uh, read it at 300. So I don't know why this program's off. But you'll see how close. You can see that over here that the drive speed's excellent. One more thing to test is the check the head stop. We're going to do a bump test. All right, it's off. So that's good. We need to make a little adjustment here. All right, to adjust the, um, here's the instruction that comes with alignment set here. It's pretty simple to adjust your head stop position. Let's see if there's any instructions here. I will need instructions. In this model, um, I'll show you how to adjust it. This right here, this is what we're going to adjust. So we have to loosen this screw and loosen this screw. And then we're going to move this like a millimeter forwards or backwards and tighten it back up. And then we're going to retest this. Alright, this new bump test you can see we got excellent. Let's do another test here so you can see what's going on. You can see it right here. It stops the head and they call this track zero here in this program. And that's it. This drive is ready to use. And thanks for watching. Uh, subscribe. Click the like button down there if anything was useful. And post any questions in your comments and I will try to answer them. Thanks for watching. Oh, one last thing. I guess I should show you the drive speed with this um, with this program. Um, put in a blank formatted disk, and you can see this reads out the correct 300 uh, revolutions per minute. I don't know what's up with that other program. Why it always says 310. But anyways, uh, again, thanks for watching. This drive is ready for use.